Hi, I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. So I thought today would be a good day to show you our truck. So a lot of people have asked us what kind of truck we're going to use for uh, our full-time RVing. And what I have is a 2002 Ford F-350 diesel. And uh, what's so unique about this truck is it's got the last what they call the 7.3 liter diesel, which is a really good engine. Uh, after that was the 6.4s and they've had a lot of trouble with those. So I've been told over and over and over again, do not sell this truck. So we continue to make sure we invest in it. Uh, just to give you an idea of maintenance on something like this, um, you go through brakes a lot, tires, uh, you want to use high quality t tires on a truck like this, especially the front, because when you have a diesel you have a lot of weight in the front and it'll wear the edges of your tires. So spend the money on good tires, it's, it's critical, learn the hard way. So what I want to show you is my truck has a canopy and we take it off when we use it for our RV. So since we're just doing extended right now, we uh, right now have the canopy on it. So what's nice about this is I had it customized. So the back of my truck, and we got stuff in here, we're doing other filming today. Uh, I had it totally uh, carpeted. And so when we're ready to use this for the RV, we take the canopy off and we actually have a time lapse of what it looks like to me and Sherry taking this thing off. And we store it. This carpeting is Velcroed on, so we just roll it up towards the front, and that exposes my rails for my, uh, my for my hitch. So uh, once again, I got a fifth wheel hitch. So the other fun part is watching me and Sherry try to lift that thing up in here and get it attached. So the other thing that we're doing, and I'd be ready for full timing, is you'll see that we use these crates and these crates seal up and they're waterproof we're adding one more so one's committed to being um, for our pet supplies and toys you might say another one we have is going to set up for emergency equipment like uh, compressors and tires and oil and tools and things like that the other thing i wanted to show you on our truck is we have an exhaust brake system put on it so in order to use my exhaust brake, I have a small switch right here. So when I'm going down a hill, I just hit the switch and I have a little flapper valve that goes into my exhaust and helps slow down the engine. If you have a diesel, you'll find out that when you're going downhill, they don't have compression to hold you back. So you want, if you can get one, put an exhaust brake. It's nice to have. The other thing that Sherry and I do since we travel is we like to collect stuffed animals. And you probably notice on my uh, dash is as we go to new places, we always get a stuffed animal that represents that area. So, so every year we have to take all the stuffed animals and put them in a bag and store them away because we get so many of them. But, so we're starting to work on our new ones for this year. The other thing I wanted to point out in this truck is we have a brush guard. Now the, the brush guard is not really for brush. It's more for situations like we've had where there's a lot of deer. So the one thing you wanna know about, especially the Dodges, but the Fords have the same problem. If you hit a deer with your truck, the damage you're gonna to do to the hood system because they go down so low can do thousands of dollars of damage. So I felt it was a good investment to put a brush guard in the front of our truck to protect the front grill and the hood from a collision with animals actually. And I imagine maybe cars too, but it's more, I actually have this because of deer issues. The other thing is people ask us if we take pictures of us traveling down the road and we do often do that. I prefer not to put it on our dash. I'd like to actually mount it right here on our, uh, on our grill. So we actually have a GoPro mount on our brush guard so we can show people where we're going and what, you know, if something is very, really interesting to see on the road. So I hope you liked our tour of the truck. We love this truck a lot. This particular truck is like driving a Cadillac with a lot of beef to it. What was really nice 
that I didn't mention on here is when we've dropped the fifth wheel on here and we have the 3625 Montana, we're talking a lot about a lot of weight. This truck doesn't even flinch. I didn't have to beef up the back end at all because it is a dually. So when we put the trailer on here, it doesn't even hardly drop down, yet it drives like a Cadillac. And since it does drive like a Cadillac, it makes for a nice drive when you're in the car for a long period of time. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. This is our truck that we're using for RV Travel Quest. If you have any questions about this truck, once again, it's a 2002 Ford F-350 Lariat, they call it. It's a uh, club cab. It's a dually. It's a one ton. And it's an awesome, awesome truck. And if you worry about having a truck that's a little bit older, a good example of someone who's utilizing a good Ford is uh, Ray on uh, Love Your RV. He uses a 94 Ford and he loves it. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. Have a great day.